Guys, welcome back to the Gallery BBQ and Griddle. And on today's show, it is all about my version of that loaded tater tot. So guys, look, my name is Tommy. And of course, again, this is the Gallery BBQ and Griddle. If this is your first time here, you want to please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. So look, as noted, it is all about the loaded tater tot. It is my version of that loaded tater tot. And on the screen now, we do have a, a quick look at some of our ingredients ingredient list not all of them but some of them the full list is definitely down in the description under the show notes you can check that out jot that down and get everything you need to make this recipe so look what i want to do now is hop on over to the halo elite 4b griddle and you know how every good breakfast is gonna start that is correct let's get some bacon on I've got everything pre-prepped. That is a, a half a package of bacon, and we got one inch cuts or so on that. And anytime you put anything piled on a griddle, you want to move it apart. You want good contact with the griddle. We've got everything running eight zones up on low, and you can see we are still 285. I just turned it on probably about 10, uh, 10 minutes or so. After about three, four minutes, we will start flipping it. You know the deal. And I will continue to show you temperatures of the uh, pit. And as you can see, we are low all eight burners and we are still under 300 and probably a good 15, 20 minutes in. Yeah. And that is the sound of bacon. Everybody wants to hear that. There is no doubt about it. And that bacon is looking good right there. So we will get that pushed on over to the side. And look, like I said in the last video, you always want to introduce that bacon first because you want to utilize that good old bacon grease. Now we've got some onions. These are leftover onions from some recent cooks. I've got a couple dabs of butter in with those onions. We will also get some oil down and get our tater tots on. Yeah. And again, anytime you introduce a pile of food to the griddle, you want good contact. So you want to move everything around, spread everything out. And we are moving right along probably 25 minutes into the cook and we are 400 or so across the griddle surface. At this point, what I am going to do is I am going to join together that bacon with those onions. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> that is good flavor right there. And there is Pitmaster Molly. She is kind of just taking it easy. <laughs> oh, yeah. She never works too hard. At this point, let's get our bacon and onions removed to a paper plate. That is a paper toweled plate. And we will move our tater tock center stage, center of the uh, griddle. Now the key here with these tater tots, right, is you want to give them enough time to cook because you want a crispy tater tot. You don't want a uh, smushy tater tot. And to help us with the crisp, we will close up that hood. All right, guys, look, so as you can see, I have closed the hood. I've got all eight zones lit and uh, we are on low on all eight zones. Now look, as far as I know, the Halo griddle is the only one certified to cook with the hood closed. So that's what we are doing here now. And I thoroughly, uh, I know the temperature is gonna rise. That is what I want, because I do want to brown, uh, brown my tater tots. When I open the hood, I will get a reading and I expect it to be close or into that 500 range. We will see, and then we will go from there. Hood closed, pit on low, eight zones lit. And we're probably up and going for over a half hour. And we are only in that 420 or so range. 
a little bit thicker there in the back. I would say we are looking pretty good. We will give these uh, tater tots a quick turn. And we will shut that hood once again, because again, we want a crispy tater tot. Oh yeah. Here you go. Oh. So look, we were just touching 500 uh, griddle surface in a couple spots, so that isn't that bad. I don't have that much oil on the, uh, on the griddle surface, so I am not worried about it. I've got the hood closed again. I've got all eight zones on low. I'll leave this closed for about another, another minute or so. I'll open it up. I'll probably start to lower some of these zones or to shut some of these zones down as we are getting ready to bring this cook home. So look, we are moving on over to that time where we are going to start jacking up these tater tots as we give a, another quick temperature check. No problem there. We will get our bacon and also our onions down into the tater tots. At that point, for a little added flavor, I got a little bit of garlic down. I got some jalapenos sliced down. We will give them a, a quick cook, little oil down. That'll only probably take about a minute or so. We will move that garlic over into the tater tots and we will handle and get some of those jalapenos into the tater tots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. And I gotta tell you, man, the, uh, the jalapenos on the griddle is putting that spicy, uh, that spicy smoke in the air, and I am breathing it in, and I can definitely feel it. <laughs> and as you can see, our tater tots are nice and browned. That is crispiness. We will incorporate all that goodness together. I will start to form a, uh, a manageable tater tot pile. That is tater tot pile. <laughs> now I will get half of those jalapenos and I will lay them out on uh, top of the tater tots. I've got a, a little trick up my sleeve to remove those tater tots off the uh, griddle and onto the board, so you're gonna stay tuned for that. The rest of those jalapenos I will get on the side and now it is time to start cheesing them up. I mean, these are loaded tots, there is no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. And there is my trick on that 16 inch pizza peel. Without that, I'd be pretty much screwed, I think. There you go. Oh, yeah. Don't go nowhere yet, because I'm not finished. Every loaded tater tot is going to need some sunny side up eggs down. And we will get those eggs moved on over to the tater tots. I mean, how does that look? I mean, that is, uh, I could tell you, man, the, the look is as good as they taste because these suckers went quick and they were killer. Oh, man. With those jalapenos, I'd say that is a, a little bit of a bite adult tater tot. All right, guys, look, that is it for this one. I mean, what, you know, what could you say here, man? I, I've got sour cream here. I don't think it needs it. These things are loaded up, man. These things are looking good. When I serve it, I'll put a little sour cream on the side. Everything came out perfect. The halo griddle, no problems there. Kept that temperature right where it needed to be. And I am super jacked about this. Quick taste test, and we will close out the show.
you know, I am going to grab some crispy cheese right there and cheers. Wow. Yes. They're as good as, the, as they look. There is no doubt about it. And I didn't even get into the center part here with the cheese. And of course, we got some jalapenos scattered around just to kick it up a little bit. And that is going to close out this show here. Again, man, I appreciate you all for watching. My name is Tommy. And of course, this is the Gallery BBQ and Griddle. And it is going to be plenty of griddle, that is for sure. So you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Because you're not going to want to miss what I got coming up. And trust me, man, I got some good stuff coming up. So that is it. That is going to close. It is hotter than hot out here. And until next time, we will see you soon.